G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be going through my NBA 2022 All-Star votes. Now, uh, now I think there's most of these players are pretty much for who everyone's going to vote for, but I think there's going to be some that may that some may, that may shock you. Uh, obviously, as a Timberwolves fan, there's going to be one player that I'm definitely putting on here from the Timberwolves. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think most people will agree with uh, the players that I've picked. If you don't, let me know in the comments who you would change. But let's start off with the East because I see most people starting off with the West. So let's start off with the front court for, uh, with the uh, the guards from the East. And we've got, I think we've got to have DeMar DeRozan in there. Definitely has to be part of that starting lineup. I think uh, DeMar's probably been um, one of the most improved players this year. Like, it's crazy. No one expected him to put up 27, 4, and 5, I think. Or pretty much 27, 5, and 5, basically. Um, and the next one I'm actually going to pick is... I'm going to put Zach Levine. Just because of how well the Bulls are doing. Now, I think Trey Young definitely deserves to be an All-Star. 100%. Like, there's, there's no debate about that. But uh, just in my opinion... I think that, you know, the, the Bulls are one of the best teams in the NBA at the moment. I think they're sitting about fourth in the power rankings, maybe fifth. Um, and these two guys are absolutely killing it for them. Yes, Trey Young is probably a snub in this case. You know, he probably, def he probably deserves it uh, more than one of these two players. But I just feel you've, you've got to factor in wins as well. And I think that DeMar and Zach both deserve... Uh, the guard positions. Now we go to the front court, and that's pretty simple. It's these three players. So that's my starting starting five for the East is uh, Zach Levine, Demar Derozan, Kevin Durant, Giannis, and Embiid. I think that's I think at least four of the five of those picked are what most people are voting for. And the next one, we're going over to the East. Now, oh, these the West. <laughs> my apologies. So we start. We'll start off with the guards again, and my first one is Steph Curry. I'm I'm pretty pretty confident he's a lock. Um, and then if we go the uh, backs, I think these two definitely deserve it as well, which leaves two spots available. Now, most people would go Devin Booker or uh, Donovan Mitchell. I'm actually going to give my vote to Ja Morant. Now, you might look at Jar's stats and think, well, you know, Donovan Mitchell's putting up similar stats. Um, Jar's, that's like close to MVP numbers. He's averaging pretty close to what Steph Curry is. He's actually, like, realistically, he's on par with Steph Curry's numbers. Steph Curry is putting up more points, but, like, when you look at the two, they're pretty close to each other. So, that's my my uh, guard situation over in the West. I think, in my opinion, this is pretty good. No one expected the Grizzlies to be, I think they're in fourth position or third position in the West. Like, that's insane. So I definitely think that Ja Morant deserves some love. What he does is insane. He can score inside. He can score outside. It's just, yeah, he, he's playing at a next level. Like, He's got to be uh, up there in one of the most improved plays, in my opinion. Uh, not just because of his stats, but because of where the team's sitting. So, yeah, I definitely think Ja Morant deserves some love. And he gets my final guard spot. And, as I said, we all have to... Well, I, I want to have a uh, Timberwolves player. So, Carl Anthony Towns gets my last pick in the West. Now, I saw... Kenny put um, Draymond Green, and I don't disagree with that. I think Draymond definitely could uh, could get the votes there. I think he deserves them. But uh, for me, being a Timberwolves fan, I want to show a little bit of bias and give the vote to Carl Anthony Towns. Like before, he went off for, pro for COVID protocols. The Wolves were just above 500. We were looking really good. Um, and then, you know, we, we kept it going fairly well. We went 5-5 five and five in the last 10 games. Cat comes back yesterday. We get another win. So, yeah, huge, uh, 
Huge dubs for the Timberwolves, in my opinion, and they're looking very good. So I think Cat definitely deserves it. But let's just uh, go over what uh, what I've selected once more. So Zach Levine, DeMar DeRozan, we all know how well the Bulls are playing. They definitely deserve it to be in the all-star starting lineup, in my opinion. Joel Embiid absolutely carrying the 76ers, although he does have a little bit of help, I must, I, I must say. Uh, St- uh, Steph Curry. Seth Curry's absolutely beasting for the 76ers. Like, it's awesome to see. Tobias Harris, when he's not injured, is playing very well. Giannis, we all know what he can do. He's um, back up there in the MVP race once again. And the same with Kevin Durant. Like, probably, arguably one of the best players in the NBA to this day. Um, probably, these three are probably the top three. You could probably say LeBron's dropped out and Giannis has dropped as come in but uh yeah i think uh, i think that the east looks pretty good in my opinion the west i think at least these three are a lock they have to be in there jar Morant, pers- just that's just personal opinion guys you know you're welcome to roast me in the comments about it but i personally think just with the the way the grizzlies are playing this year they look completely different like jar Morant has taken the next step up he's absolutely killing it for them and you, I think he deserves uh, an also starter spot. And then we've got Carl Anthony Towns. In my opinion, probably doesn't deserve to be a starter. Or definitely doesn't deserve to be a starter when you've got players like uh, Rudy Gobert, who's absolutely killing it, Draymond Green on the best team in the NBA. And then there's, uh, who else have we got? I, I, AD probably doesn't deserve it, so I'd say... You know, Rudy Gobert, Draymond Green are probably the only two that I'd say really are a lock over Carl Anthony Towns. But um, I'm just going to put in Cat uh, there to get him a few more votes. Just the Timberwolf bias coming out. But uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you guys thought about this one. Do you agree with my picks? I know there's going to be a lot of you guys that do disagree. And let's have a chat about it in the comments, guys. Drop your comment below. Tell me why you disagree. You know, I, I'm not as knowledgeable as a lot of people. Like, obviously, Crispy Flakes, uh, KOT4Q, um, Six Rings of Steel, they, they, they study NBA. I watch Tim Wolves games. I watch um, Warriors games. I have been watching Grizzlies games this year. been checking in the Bulls and the uh, Nets games. But, uh, yeah, for the most part, I don't get to see every NBA game. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for me. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys had an amazing New Year's, even though we're now seven days in. Um, And, yeah, guys, let me know in the comments once again what you guys think. Hit that sub button and give give me a like, guys. Thank you, and see you in the next one.